Today the topic is what Al Quran says about Al Islam, translated as to attain peace. Generally in the world, this word Al Islam is not translated in the whole world. This Arabic word has been in the English language also. It's, you will find in the dictionary as well. This Al Islam, an English word. Though it's not an English word, but it has been used so much that it, had, it has come in the English dictionary. You look at the English dictionary, in Islam, you will have Muslim religion or Muhammad religion, whatever. But we must know the meaning of Islam. As I said to you, as salam peace. Al-Islam, to attain peace. That's the meaning of the word. We must know the meanings to understand the Quranic ayahs in translation. And before I discuss these ayahs, I would like to give you further meanings of certain words, which are not normally translated. They are, used, they are used in the language of the Arabic word, just use the word, like Islam, the word. No meanings to it. The second word which is not being translated is deen. The word deen, which means the judgment. Maliki yawmid deen. The owner of the day of the judgment. The deen is the judgment. So deen, if you know the meaning of the deen, you must know when I will discuss these ayahs, you will see that these ayahs, these words are not translated, they are just used in English or in Urdu also, they don't translate these words, Islam or the deen. The Islam means to attain peace and the deen is the judgment. And then the word Muslim is also not translated. Though the whole world are familiar by these words, Muslim is also being familiar. But what it means is submit. Muslim is a person who submits, submitter. Aslim, I submit, Muslim, submitter. So why I am giving you this meaning of these words? Because no, mostly they are not translated and people do not know what the meaning of these words and they are giving pictures about Islam, about Muslims and about what deen is. So in the whole world, every human being likes to live in peace all the people in the world world they like to live in peace but they have to make certain decisions in life or they have to take certain judgments they have to judge in a particular situation they come into a particular situation they have to judge and have to take a decision in life so that they get the result is peace so in the world there are many many problems a mankind is facing and then he has to take decision and judgments normally he has to take certain certain decisions so that he can attain peace so he he has his own rules and regulations or his own conjectures and he thinks that this decision that he is taking he will attain peace he will have peace or he will take advice from somebody which he, which he has no knowledge so that from other people he can get the peace they take a decision you tell me what should I do in, the, in a particular situation you tell me and the man tells you you take this you take this decision and you take this judgment and you have to judge so you judge and then you take a decision and you think that you are in peace so but if you don't take right decision and the right judgments the unhappiness and you are not in peace so these words and when you take a decision you submit to a judgment you submit to a judgment this judgment is right I must submit to it then you are submitting that is a Muslim so you are submitting so when you submit to a judgment you take you enter into Islam the peace so they are interrelated I submit to a judgment that I make in life I take a decision on, on, a, on a particular situation that means I am submitting to a judgment where to attain peace. So Muslim, submit, deen, judgment and Islam to attain peace. This is how these three words are related. 
But we must know what are the criteria laid down by Allah in the Quranic ayats. So I will read the uh, few ayats where the word Islam, Arabic word Al-Islam has occurred in the, in the text of the Quranic ayats. I will we'll, we'll read those ayats and analyze these ayats how they go about. Then, uh, before I discuss the ayat, further I would like to tell you, in the Quran, there are muhkum or the orders of Allah. Or you can say there are certain do's and don'ts. That there are certain ayahs that tell us, you me human being, mankind, you must do or act upon on certain things. And there are certain things that you are commanded not to do, are forbidden. For example, you have to establish the Salah prayer. That is the command in the Quranic ayahs that you have to establish the Salah prayer. So now you have to judge, deen, you have to judge. If I establish the Salah prayer, the benefit you what you get, I'm not discussing in detail the Salah, but the benefit from the Salah you will get is peace. If you establish the Salah prayer, what Allah says in the Quran, if you establish the prayer, the Salah, as mentioned the ayahs of Allah, you will attain peace. You submit to the ayah, the governing ayahs, the muhkamat ayah, you get attain peace. That is Islam. Then Allah says in the ayahs that you have to fast. So if I fast, as per ayat, then I am getting attaining peace, Islam. I am getting peace. You have to give zakah, the, the justification or sadqah, the charity. So if you do that, then you are attaining peace. Then you have to perform hajj. So these are the do's. If you act upon the judgment or the criteria or the governing ayats of Allah, the muhkam ayats, you are, the more you implement on those ayahs, you attain peace. You submit to that ayah means you are aslim to that ayahs, the governing ayahs, you are Muslim to that ayah. The finally what you are getting, you are attaining peace, Islam. So I am telling you before we go, then you have to do, do jihad. You have to struggle for uh, following these verses. You have to really strive, struggle in the ayahs of, for the ayahs of Allah to implement those ayahs. You strive and struggle, that is jihad. You submit to these things, you are Muslim to that and you get Islam to attain peace. Then there are certain don'ts. These are the do's. I'm giving you a few, four, five. Not to eat the wealth with falsehood. By forgery. By forgery. You don't have to eat the wealth by forgery. So this is, again, these are the don'ts. So if you will not eat the, the wealth with falsehood, you will attain peace, Islam. You will have Islam that attain peace. Backbiting. Do not do backbiting. What you will attain? Islam, peace. Suspicion. If you will not suspect or investigate people, what's going on in the other people's mind or what's going on in, this, in somebody's eyes, suspect, investigating, suspicions, backbiting. If you will not practice these, what will happen to you? You will attain peace, Islam. Then if you do not, do not Allah said, do not rob. Do not, you should not thief. Do not rob. So if you will not rob, you will attain peace, do not the ki ki uh, kill the children from poverty. So if you will not kill the ch children from poverty, you will attain peace. You will not kill yourself. Attain peace. Adultery and fornication. Do not do adultery and fornication. Gambling. These are the don'ts. If you will not do this, these don'ts, and there was, previously I was reading, there were certain do's. So the do's and the don'ts put together, few I have read, there are many ayahs, the whole Quran is full of it, many ayahs are there. I'm just giving you the example how a human being submits to the governing ayahs or he's a Muslim to the governing ayahs, the mahkamat ayahs. He gets Islam, attain peace. He, gets, he, he lives a peaceful life. He's, he's following the ayahs, the commandments of Allah, he's attaining peace. That is how the peace and tranquility is within you. And this is how it has to be uh, uh, shared with the people in mankind. 
So now, these are the things you must know before I, we will discuss now, I ask directly, and you must have this in picture in your mind, what I just now read. So first of all, you, we go to page number one. And ayah is, Surah Al-Imran 3 and Ayah 19. Inna ad-dina inda Allahi al-Islam wa makhtalaf al-ladhina utu al-kitab illa min ba'di ma ja'ahum al-ilmu baghyan baynahum wa man yakfur bi ayat Allah Fa inna Allah sari'u al-hisab Surely a deen the judgment in the nearness of Allah is al-Islam to attain peace. And those who are given al-Kitab, the book, did not differ except to wrong each other after the knowledge came to them. And whosoever rejects with ayahs signs of Allah, then surely Allah is quick in taking the account. You see, in the ayah, I've told you before, the judgment, the deen. Inna deena indallahi islam Most certainly, most certainly, surely, the judgment in the nearness of Allah is al-islam, to attain peace. Meaning the judgment that has laid down by Allah in all the ayahs is to attain peace. So any individual has to decide. When you listen to an ayah, he has to decide. The judgment, you have to make a decision. You have to take a judgment. Allah is giving you, making you a judge. Judgment, you are a judge, you judge. You listen to the ayahs, it makes sense to you, you implement it and you attain, you are into, you attain peace. You get Islam. So the, here in the ayahs, in the deena, in the law islam most certainly, surely, in the nearness of Allah, the judgment is al-Islam to attain peace. وَمَخْتَلَفَ الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابِ إِلَّا مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا جَامُ الْعِلْمُ بَغْيًا بَيْنَهُمْ And those who are given Al-Kitab, the book, did not differ except to wrong to each other after the knowledge came to them. Now, the, the second portion of an ayah, it says that people in a normal, in a normal thing, like for example, I've got knowledge, not of Quran, generally I'm talking generally. A person who is a literate man or who has got knowledge in any subject, the person who does not have a knowledge, can they argue with each, other, with each other? Can they argue? A person who's got a knowledge and a person who does not have a knowledge, can they argue? The one who has got knowledge, the person who does not have a knowledge cannot argue or debate with the person who has knowledge. So Allah is telling us there are people to whom this book was given. To whom the book is given. And when the understanding of the book came to them, when the understanding of the book came to them, they did not differ in the book. They differ among the people by saying that you are wrong. Just to say to the other people that you are wrong. Look, إِلَّا مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا جَعْمِلْمُ بَغْيَمْ بَيْنَهُمْ those who are given Al-Kitab, the book, did not differ except to, to wrong each other after the knowledge came to them. Just to say that the person was in, that you are wrong, I know, I know, I know better, you are wrong. So because the knowledge has come to you, instead of taking guidance, the basic purpose and aim of reading an ayah is to take guidance Instead of taking guidance, you are pointing a finger to the one who doesn't know or trying to implement knowledge or showing knowledge to the person by saying, you are wrong, I know, you are wrong, I know. This is going on. So people, there are certain people there because every person wants to gain knowledge. Every, this is the nature of a human being to have knowledge. So people who want to have knowledge, they read the Quran, not for guidance. If they take guidance, they will try start implementing and they will obtain peace. If you will not <clears throat> take guidance, you just take the knowledge 
and you'll point fingers to the other people who do not know and then you are wrong to wrong each other after the knowledge came to them so this is the behavior of most of the people not with the quran generally the people who knows tries to say to the one who is a little knowledge that you are wrong this is this is going on now <clears throat> And the following uh, reference in Surah Yunus 10 and Ayah 25. Wallahu yad'u ila daris salam wa yahdi man yasha'u ila siratim mustaqeem. And Allah invites to, to invites to the circle of salam, the peace. And he guides to whom he wills to the straight path. In the Arabic is Wallahu yad'u ila daris salam. And Allah invites to a circle of salam to, to peace. Allah is inviting people to a circle or a circle of peace. Now, before I, uh, this is synonym, you know, Hebrew language and Arabic languages are sister languages there are similes in the languages of between arabic and uh, hebrew like for example like hindi and like urdu they are not exactly same but there are certain uh, words that are understood similar so i will say you look look salam is arabic word it means peace salam if i say sholom you understand what it means sholom salam Hebrew means Sholom. Sholom. Hebrew people, they say Sholom. We say Salam. So the same, same words. Hebrew, they pronounce in their language, it is Sholom. In Arabic, it is Arabic, it is Salam. So if the, Arab, uh, the, uh, you look at the Arabic, it's Dar is Salam. So if I read in Hebrew, it will be Ero Sholom. What? Ero Sholom. If you add J, it is Jero Shalom. Ero Shalom. Jero Shalom. In Israel. So Allah says, Wallahu yadu ila dar is salam. So Allah is saying, Allah invites to a circle of Islam. It is not saying to, to, to the invitation to the Jero Shalom. But they are saying in the world that the Jerusalem is a name given in the Hebrew, in the, in the Hebrew Jews did it. They are saying this is Ero Shalom. This is the circle of peace. And you see the circle of peace, how the wars are going on. This name is given to a city by telling the mankind that this is Jero Shalom. This is a city of peace or a circle of peace. Which you can never ever attain peace there. Can never. Because this is you are competing with Allah's deen judgment of Al-Islam. To attain peace. So you made Ero Shalom, Jero Shalom. That is circle of peace means in Arabic. Dar es Salam, Dar es Salam, Ero Shalom, Jero Shalom. So in Arabic is Allah invites you a circle of Islam. Where you can see this city with circle of Islam. Where? In the whole world. Do you know a, a city with which you can say this is a circle of a city of peace? Mecca. That is a Rosh, uh, Dar es Salaam, a circle of Islam, a circle of Islam where you can have peace. In, in, in Hebrew you can say Ero Shalom. But you must know the meaning. Don't put my words in my mouth. I didn't say what you are saying. Because I said it, Ero Shalom is Mecca. It's the circle of Islam. Or you can say Dar es Salaam of Arabic word. But people, you know, they, they twist the words. They say, I am saying that this is Jerusalem. No, I am telling you in Arabic, it means Dar es Salaam, the circle of peace, Islam. Because you see the peace in Mecca. In generally, in the whole years of life, you may find some little problems in there. But as a whole, you will see peace in Mecca. So the, you see the circle of Islam and people who, because Umrah, and for uh, uh, Hajj, and there are billions of people all from all parts of the world, all nationalities of the world, are visiting regularly, all year round. 
So you can see circle of Islam, circle of peace. So it's, that means Allah is inviting you, the Muslim community, who submits to the ayahs, they are invited to the circle of Islam, the circle of peace, Dar es Salaam. Allah is inviting. And it says, وَيَهْدِي مَنْ يَشَاءُ إِلَىٰ صِرَاطٍ مُسْتَقِيمٍ And he guides to whom he wills to a straight path. In the Surah Fatiha, five verse, إِهْدِنَ الصِّرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ Every Muslim submitter is reciting in the prayer, the Salah, five times a day. And in every Raka, he is saying, إِهْدِنَ الصِّرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ Meaning, guide us to the straight path. Five times a day, in every Raka, we say, guide us to the straight path. إِهْدِنَ الصِّرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ Guide us to the straight path. And Allah is saying, Yahdi wa Yahdi man yashahu ila siratim mustaqim. And He guides to whom He wills to the straight path. When he, Allah is inviting you to the circle of Islam, in the, in the portion of Allah, Yadu ila dar is salam, when Allah says, Allah invites you to the circle of Islam to attain peace, and further He says, and He guides whom He wills towards the straight path. So we must know, ladies and gentlemen, any decision, judgment that I make or we make, we are invited by Allah to a circle of Islam to attain peace, to have peace. So every judgment that I make in life, if it is based on the governing ayat and I make a judgment on that and I submit to the ayat, so what I will get? Peace. So that if I get the peace, Allah is guiding me. Wayadi. And he guides whom he wills towards the straight path. If you are having that peace by taking decisions on the ayahs, by taking decisions on the ayahs, then Allah is guiding you to the straight path, whom he wills. So if you are not getting that decision, you are not making judgments, not making the judgments on the governing ayahs, so Allah is not guiding you. Let's say, وَيَهْدِي مَنْ يَشَاء He guides whom he wills. So his will is that you have to follow the governing ayahs, the muhkamat ayahs. So if you take decision on that, so that means Allah is guiding whom he wills to a straight path. So he's guiding us. So how I, how I should know that Allah is guiding me? By if I am attaining peace. I am entering into the circle of Islam, invitation by Allah. When? When I am having peace in my life. Within myself. Now, in, in Baqarah 2, 208. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amunu dukhulu fi silmi kafa wa la tattabi'u khutuwaat al-shaytan innahu lakum aduvvum mubeen O you who believe, enter in Islam to attain peace entirely without exception and do not follow the footsteps of shaitan the evil one surely he is a clear enemy to you now Allah is telling to the believers the ayat is addressing ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu O you who believe so people who believe means they are believing in the ayahs of Allah they are believing so Allah is addressing to the believers enter into Islam to attain peace entirely. So that means there are people in the world who are following certain governing ayahs, certain I said some or certain governing ayahs, so they are living in a peace, they are living in peace but not completely, not entirely. So Allah is asking to the believers that enter into Al-Islam yourself Entirely, completely, except, uh, without exception, totally, completely. So that means there are people in the world, they are, maybe they are believers. They are believers, they believe. But they are not completely practicing the ayah. They are practicing some. They are not completely practicing the ayahs to attain peace. They are not having complete peace within, the, within themselves. But they have got some peace. They, they may be implementing some, but not completely. So Allah is saying, Oh, you believe, Ya Ayyul Ladina Amud Khulu, 
fis silmi kafa o you believe enter into islam entirely without exception completely so there are people that means they are not so what what is happening allah explain the in the following portion of the ayah wala tattabiu khutuwati shaitan innahu lakum aduv mubin and do not follow the footsteps of shaitan the evil one surely he is a clear enemy to you why we are not following al islam or uh, uh, attaining complete islam or total peace within us that there are times we are following the shaitan we are foot, uh, following the footsteps of the shaitan wala tabi khutuwati shaitan the portion of the same ayah says that you must uh, first say you, oh, you believe enter into islam completely without exception but again says wala tabi khutuwati shaitan meaning in the same verse it is telling us that there may be some portions there is a dark side of our life our personality there is a dark side and in that dark side we are following the footstep of the shaitan we are thinking that we are following completely al islam no but there are portions of our dark side which i don't want to see or i don't want to see myself in that dark side i don't want to see i think i'm right so though that is the dark side he doesn't want to see and if somebody points he doesn't want to see itself even the eyes also he understands but he doesn't want to see himself so that is the dark, that is where we are following the footsteps of the shaitan al maida 5 and ayat 3 al yawma ya'isa alladhina kafaru min dinikum fala takhshahum wakhshawn اليوم اكملت لكم دينكم واتممت عليكم نعمتي ورضيت لكم الاسلام دينا this day those who reject have given up hope from your deen judgment from your deen the judgment so do not fear them but fear me this day i have perfected your deen judgment for you and completed my favor upon you and i am pleased for you of islam to attain peace as a deen judgment in this ayah it is telling us the, that when you will have al islam attain peace completely when it is telling uh, to the people this day the referring to a day in everybody's life you must understand we all in the past in the present in the future these eyes remains constant men in the past were there men in the present are here and men we will not be here today tomorrow the other people will come so remember these eyes remains constant they don't change we we come and go so on that day that day this day those who reject faith given up all hope from your deen judgment meaning i i or group of people who started implementing the judgments as laid down by Allah in the ayahs of Allah the governing ayahs as i make judgments my judgments on the principles of the ayahs of Allah or the governing ayahs of Allah i take decisions i take judgments and i implement suppose i'm giving an example on that day those who reject will give up all hope from your deen judgment the people whom i am living around they will interact with me and finally they will realize they will realize that this gentleman is taking judgments on the eyes of allah where he himself is not taking judgments and he is falling into mire by his own judgments on life so he will allah say those who reject have given up all hope from your deen from your deen judgment meaning your judgments on ayas of allah you were judging on the ayas of allah you are practicing on the governing eyes of allah so the person whom you are living around he will give up all hope now this man is changed totally changed he is not with among us from among us he has become totally different now he always refer to an ayah of his practices so that person will lo- lose all hope will given up all hope from your dinja so allah says so do not fear them but fear me so we do not have to have to fear them allah says but fear allah and for this day that day i have perfected your deen judgment for you and completed my favor upon you and i am pleased for you of islam to attain peace 
as a deen judgment. So whenever the, in a society where you live, you start practicing the ayahs or the governing ayahs, you discuss these ayahs with the other people and the other people are not following the ayahs, so they reject. So they lose all hope of your judgment. The day the people will lose all hope from you, where you are taking decision or judging, taking judgments from the ayahs and implementing those ayahs, so they will lose all hope from you, from your judgment. On that day, Allah says, I have perfected your judgment for you and completed my favor upon you and I am pleased for you of Islam to attain peace. A deen of judgment. You understand this? You must understand this is very important. Okay, the day when you start practicing on the ayahs, you start sharing with these ayahs with other people and the people who are rejecters of the ayahs will fight with you, they will argue with you and a day comes when they will no more argue with you they will lose all hope that this man is too much in the practice of the ayahs in the practice of the ayahs not only remembering the ayahs, just, just memorize the ayahs no, you remember and implement, remember and implement you have to develop the character, you live in peace, you attain peace and the, the more in your surroundings that people you are living and interacting those people say, look, we are not practicing, he is practicing, we are not practicing, he is practicing. You understand this kind of behavior? He is changing, he is changing his character, he is changing his life, he is implementing this kind of behavior when they will know. So they will lose all, lose, lose all hope by not confronting you. They will, in the initial they will confront, but finally they will say that he has changed now. He is totally changed man. That day, that is the day when these people will lose all hope from your practices, your judgments. That day, Allah said, that day I have perfected your deen judgment for you and completed my favor upon you and I am pleased for you, Islam to attain peace. That is the day. How will you come to know that Islam is being completed on you or you are in to attain peace? When your environment, your people that are surrounding knows that you are changed. If you are hiding yourself, by not showing and discussing an ayah, that means you, Allah is not pleased with you. You have to establish in your environment where you live upon, among your category people, by sharing the message with them and confronting with them, until they lose all hope from your judgment. That is the time when people realize that they can't fight with you, they can't argue with you, they know that character, their character is not right. They know that your character is standing like a big tree. You can't, they can't argue, debate, anything, nothing, finish. So they lose all hope of your judgment. That day, Allah says, I have perfected your deen, your judgment, and completed my favor on you, and I am pleased for you to attain peace, Islam as a judgment, that you have taken the judgment. Al Imran 3 and Ayat 5. وَمَنْ يَبْتَغِي غَيْرَ الْإِسْلَامِ دِينًا فَلَنْ يُقْبَلَ مِنْهِ وَهُوَ فِي الْآخِرَةِ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ And whosoever seeks a deen judgment other than Islam to attain peace, then it will never be accepted for him and he will be from the lost ones in the last. Since he, this is the most of the oppressor, he is not taking lessons for himself, but he seeks a deen, a judgment other than Islam to attain peace. You see, I told you in life, there are many, many situations. There are subul as salam. There are many ways of salam to peace, to attain peace. Every ayat that tells us or governs us to, uh, that, that we are governing. In any situation that I come in life and I take into consideration any ayat, what the ayat says. Now, in that particular situation, my feelings are so much motivated that I think that this governing ayat is right, I understand this governing ayat, but I do not because my feelings are not so. So I take a judgment according to my vain desire, other than Islam, to attain peace. But I know the ayat. I know the ayat, the essence of an ayat, but I do not implement because my vain desire is so much dominating my personality, it is not, it is not giving me uh, peace. So that means I have taken a judgment on my desire, not on, not on the governing ayahs. So I will not attain peace. But I may know the ayat. I may talk about the ayat. 
I mean me also in this, in this crowd. Remember this is which we have to take lessons from the ayat. That in, in a situation other than judgment of Islam to attain peace, if you are not taking judgments from the ayat to attain peace in life, if you are not doing so, then this is nothing, this is making, you are not getting anything out of it. So Allah said, Allah will not accept. He will not accept your judgment. How much you are crazy of that, that philosophy of psychology. You are after money or you are after any vain desire you have got or love or affliction on manat and yagus and yawk or nasar and anything whom you love, whom your, your feelings are attached. If you are attached to anything other than taking into consideration what Allah tells us in the ayahs and you do not make the judgment right, correct, it may go against your grains. You have to take the judgment in the eyes of God, the right judgment. If you will not, Allah will not accept. This is very clear. Any judgment in life, you take a decision and the judgment is not based on ayat. Knowingly, he will not accept. Remember, this is very clear that people do not take the judgments on the basis of the Quranic ayat. They consult the Quran. They ask the question. They understand the essence. But they live their life the way they live. The life they are lead just for the know-how, for the knowledge, I must know what Quran says. What, the, what does, the difference does it make? If you do, do not implement that governing ayat at that, in that particular situation, this is how you will attain peace. If you are not taking the judgment, then Allah says, And whosoever seeks a judgment, other than Islam to attain peace, other than to not to attain peace, because you will not attain peace in that, that, in that area where you have taken the judgment, not based on ayas, mokamat ayat, you have taken on your vain desire. So you will not, Allah will not accept. And he will be the lost one and the last.